guys welcome back so today we are doing a nice quick and easy instant pot recipes these are very healthy and your kids will actually love them I promise they are super quick and easy to put together so I hope that you guys try these out and let's just get into the video so the first recipe we're doing is a taco pasta and this is amazing my kids absolutely loved it and it's simple ingredients and very healthy minus the salt but I think you guys will really enjoy it gonna need for this is tomatoes, onion, some cilantro, salsa, corn, a noodle of your choice. Today I'm just doing some garden rotini but I really do like to use lentil pasta for this but this is what we're using today. Some avocado for the top and then some garlic salt, taco seasoning, black pepper, and minced garlic. You're also gonna need some ground beef or ground turkey. I personally prefer ground turkey, but today we are using ground beef because that's what I have and that's what I laid out. You can also use fresh garlic instead of dried minced garlic. I love using fresh garlic, but it's such a pain <laughs> to prep and everything. So for today's meal, we're just going to use the minced garlic. Okay guys, so the first thing you're gonna do is just put your Instant Pot on saute mode and brown your ground beef. You can choose to put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom if you want. I just don't like to add the extra fat. So I just keep it as is. So I just kind of rough it up a little bit. While this is browning, we're gonna go ahead and chop up some of the veggies. Okay, so I'm just gonna chop my onion first. So I'm just gonna do half. I like to keep my onions pretty big for this because I like to have big bites of onion. So I just kind of cut it into little slivers. You can dice it if you want. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in with the meat. All right, so now I'm just chopping up my tomatoes. Alicia has joined us to help. My tomatoes are mine, huh? You'll like it. All right, so I think Alicia is gonna do our mixing for us, and I'm gonna go ahead and add in some of our seasonings first. Taco seasoning, you wanna add some? A lot is okay. We like it to be very seasoned. Mommy, I'll do it. Now garlic salt. I'm gonna see if I put a lot. No, not a lot, not a lot. Oh my goodness, it'll be salty and garlicky, that's for sure. And then some minced garlic. All right, corn. so now we're just adding in some, some corn. corn. Two cups of water. So we're gonna mix it really good. One cup of salsa. So it's gonna get really mixy up. Right? And then finally just add your pasta. I'm gonna do about half of this bag. You wanna kinda stir it up a little bit and then you're going to put the lid on and set it to manual however long your pasta needs to cook. So I'm gonna cook mine for about eight minutes on manual. I just have the Instant Pot set on manual and I have it set for eight minutes so it'll do its thing. All right, so first I'm just gonna cut up some cilantro. I'm just gonna throw this in right when it's done. I don't like to cook it with it. You can cut this up however you like. I just kind of dice it. If you are too rough with it, then it will taste kind of bitter. So I'm just gonna put this aside. My kids and I love avocados. Derek is not a fan, but we eat a lot of avocados. You can also leave the corn kind of cold if you wanted to and put it on top. You can also add beans. Like we're not huge bean people and we're having beans later in the week so I figured that we would just leave the beans out on this one. And then I just use a spoon. I don't have a clean big spoon so I'm gonna use one of the kids spoons. Hopefully it'll work out okay. Probably not knowing my luck. Yeah, definitely could have waited for this avocado to ripen a little bit, but we wanted to have this tonight, so. Does anybody else feel like you wait forever for your avocados to get ready and then they go bad so fast? Like, cause same. All right, so right as soon as I got done cutting up the cilantro and avocado, it was up to pressure and started counting down. What's nice about using saute mode before is it kind of already heats it up, so it's easier to get up to pressure. It's also really nice to just saute your meat and stuff right in the pot because it's one pot and you only have to clean one thing. I love my Instant Pot, I use it all the time. All right guys, so the Instant Pot just went off, so I'm letting it quick release right now, and then we are gonna stir it up. A 
Alrighty guys, it's looking marvelous. Alrighty guys, so now I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of cilantro on top. We like, I like big chunks, so that's why I'm keeping them pretty big. For mine, I'm just gonna put some avocado. You can do a side salad with this, or you can just eat it as a one meal. That's what we do, we just eat it as one meal. Guarantee that the kids will eat most of this avocado. They'll come back for seconds and thirds and fourths. All right, and then for the last step, I just added some cracked black pepper, and this is dinner, yum. It's a super easy recipe, and gets thrown together. It's done in less than an hour. It's awesome. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> All right guys, and next we're gonna be doing a quick chicken meal with veggies. I like to use this as a meal prep and I think that it tastes absolutely amazing and my kids also love it as well. All right guys, so this one's a super easy recipe. All you're gonna need is some frozen kale, some frozen chicken thighs, some frozen veggies, olive oil and seasonings of your choice. I am using table blend salt-free seasoning. I think it's like a off-brand of Mrs. Dash. And then lemon pepper, garlic salt, everything bagel, and olive oil. So we are gonna be cooking this. This is so easy. Literally, you throw everything in, frozen. It's amazing. Such a time saver, such a dump and go. It's awesome. I really wanted to do another cuisine type of meal, but a lot of people are asking me how I do my meal prepping. So I wanted to do a quick and easy meal prep for you if you are like a working mom or you just need stuff really fast, then this is awesome. I usually do this on Sundays and then I have a meal for the week, heat it up and it's already ready to go for me. Keeps me on track with my macros and stuff and what I want to make sure I'm putting in my body. So I just start off with putting a little bit of olive oil. You wanna like coat the bottom pretty well, I think. You can go ahead and put it on saute mode if you want to to kind of heat the oil up. If I'm really feeling it, I will cut up an onion and kind of saute it in there to make it nice and flavorful. But since I'm on a time crunch today, I am just going to throw in some minced garlic into here just to kind of get some season started. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in a little bit of a couple of the seasonings that I'm using today. To have lemons, I could throw some lemon juice in, but I actually prefer to put lemon juice on my meal prep after it's already done. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is just open up this pack of chicken thighs. It is fully frozen. I get them at Costco. They come in these little packs. It's awesome. I throw the whole thing in the freezer. Then I'm just gonna throw in this whole bag of veggies. This is just a Pennsylvania blend. It's got green beans, squash, broccoli. Now what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit more garlic salt on here. You can also add more seasonings after it's done and you've tasted it. Then of course, everything bagel seasoning. Some more lemon pepper. I just like to season it up pretty good. And I am just gonna add in a little bit of chicken stock in here. Sorry, I did not mention that in the ingredients list, but you can also just add water. That's completely fine too. But I have some in the fridge that I need to use up, so I'm gonna add in this. Now I'm just gonna put my frozen kale on top. I buy my kale in like the big things, and then before it goes bad, I just stick whatever I haven't used yet in the freezer, so I use them for meals like this. Kale is awesome because I think it's very filling and it also has a lot of vitamins and minerals in it that you miss in everyday meals. So I like to sneak it in, in all my recipes and smoothies and things like that. Alrighty, so I just stuck my lid on and for anybody who doesn't know, if you have your Instant Pot on saute mode and you want to put it onto manual, all you have to do is hit cancel if you, if you didn't already know that. And then I'm just going to put manual and I'm going to go up to 15 minutes. Uh, let's do 16. Why not? And then I just let it start. And now it is a dump and go. It is going to do its thing. It's going to cook. It will beep when it's ready. I will probably let it sit for about five minutes to naturally release and then quick release it. Okay, guys. So I actually got preoccupied putting clothes away. So I let it naturally release for 16 minutes. I also have the hiccups. So if I'm hiccuping, I'm sorry. Now we're just going to let it finish quick releasing for the rest of the way and take the top off. See how it looks. Mmm. All right, and you can see the chicken too. There is a lot of juice in this, but that's also because I added that extra chicken broth in. I usually do this for like a meal prep or something, and it is amazing, and it's already all done. Dump and go, literally don't even have to think about it, and you have so many meals already pre-done for you. So if you guys want more meal prep recipes, let me know, and I will definitely do those for you. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I had tons of fun filming this one for you and I hope that you try all of these recipes out for yourself and your family. If you guys like these Instant Pot recipe ideas or recipe ideas in general, healthy cooking, just let me know and I will be more than happy to do more for you. And I hope that you guys subscribe and stay tuned for more episodes like these.